Hello and welcome and today the topic of discussion is in C programming we will understand what pointers is all about. So let's start with the pointers. So if I see the definition, uh, definition is pointer is a variable which hold the address of another variable of same data type. This is very important line that's why I had made it bold. Now what is the reason behind making it bold? Let's understand. So pointer is a variable just like if I type int a. So a is a variable of integer type. In a similar fashion if I type int pointer p then p is a variable p is also a variable so pointer is is not different from any any other variable pointer is also a variable pointer is a variable but the main difference between pointer and a simple variable is that pointer hold the address so pointer hold the address of another variable so if a is of integer type and p is pointer of integer type then p will hold the address of a but there is a condition that this point if this pointer is of integer type so it will hold the address of a variable which is also of integer type fine so this is the constraint that, that which you have to notice otherwise you will start getting some absurd results which we'll discuss later so let's see this program in this particular program i have used a variable x having value 9 so let's make a box box means a memory structure so i have a memory uh, of uh, uh, variable x let's suppose the address of this memory variable is 100 and the value of this variable x is 9 fine and again i have created a pointer p in pointer p so again there will be a box or memory block having name p let address of this p is 200 now what what am i doing is that i'm assigning what i'm doing i'm assigning address of x variable x to p and which is absolutely correct because p is a pointer variable which hold the address of another variable of same data type and the data type of x is exactly similar to data type of pointer p so what will be in p now p will hold the address of x address of x is 100 so the value of p will become 100 fine now what am i doing is that i'm printing x so what is x 9 so it will simply print 9 but now when i'm printing pointer p what it will print now let's understand this so what is p write p 100 and prefix of 100 is pointer so what pointers gives value at that address so i'll go to the 100 address okay and i'll print the value inside the block inside the block of that 100 address so that value is 9 so again i'll get the value answer will be 9 so if i see the next definition of pointer so pointer gives the value at that address so pointer gives value at that address so that what is actual value at that particular address which we are talking about fine now you might be wondering that what i was talking about when i was discussing that uh, it should hold the address of same data type so let me create a difference now i have created this pointer p of uh, suppose I have created this pointer of integer type and now this variable is of float type fine float that now this x instead of being integer it is of float type having value some 9.0 and something something fine okay now what am I doing is that I am assigning address of x which is a float variable to a pointer which is a integer type so is this a correct no the moment you start doing this you will get a warning not error you will get a warning and the warning will be incompatible pointer type assigning this is what it is exactly showing that incompatible pointer type assigning to integer pointer your point integer from float you are point you are assigning something to an integer pointer a value of float it is a kind of warning which you will start getting fine okay so uh, you will not get any error you will get the result you will get the output that output will be totally on a, a, a compiler dependent output fine so that will be a compiler dependent output so in that case you are not going to get any kind of error but you will be getting a warning fine okay so this was all about a single pointer let's talk about some double pointer so uh, if i talk about double pointer so again the definition is same i'm not going to read this definition again so what this double pointer is all about so let me uh, discuss about this double pointer so here in front of you x is a variable so let me make a box x having value 9 let the address of this x is 100 again i'm having a pointer a variable p single pointer variable p let this be a p uh, 
and suppose address of this P is 200 and I'm sorry this is double pointer so this is double pointer Q so again since this is a variable so again this will be have a this will surely have a memory block so this is pointer Q double pointer Q and let address of this double pointer is 300 fine okay now what am I doing is that I'm assigning address of X to P P is a single pointer which will hold the address of a variable and double pointer will hold the address of single pointer. While if I declare triple pointer, suppose I declare triple pointer J, then J is a triple pointer which will hold the address of double pointer. Fine. So in a similar trend will move forward fine so p is holding the address of x the address of x is 100 so the value of p becomes 100 and q is holding the address of p why address of p because q is a double pointer p is a single pointer and the address of p is 200 so value of q will become 200 fine okay now what happens now what i'm trying to do i'll print that fine see let's see what am i printing value of x so what is value of x 9 fine so 9 will get printed now i'm trying to print value of pointer p i have just told you previously that pointer gives value at that address so just write pointer p what is value of p 100 so pointer 100 so what is there inside 100 9 so again you will get 9 now what i am printing double pointer q double pointer q what is double pointer q double pointer q means double pointer what is the value of q 200 so let's solve this single pointer 200 first so single pointer what is 200 200 is address of p and pointer 200 will give you the value of that so value of that is 100 so on solving pointer 200 you get 100 and still you are left with one pointer so 100 pointer again you came to this position 100 and 100 pointer means what is the value inside that 100 pointer is 9 so in all the three cases you will get answer 9 so this was the concept behind double pointer double pointer is not a special thing which you need to concentrate more it's a simple concept so this was all about uh, what double pointer single pointer and what pointer is all about so at last i'll say thank you so much for watching thank you and thank you so much